Good morning, ladies. Welcome back. Recently, there have been two new palettes that have come out in the last month or two, and I was very interested in both of them. The first one is by Natasha Denona. It's their new Yucca palette. And the second one is by ABH, and it is the Cosmos palette. I looked at both of them back and forth, back and forth. One is a little bit more expensive, $169, one's $55, but I... I liked both of them and I wasn't quite sure, but I finally made a decision. So I thought I would do a quick eye makeup look for you, showing you the palette that I chose. Before I do that, I wanna welcome all of you that are here, that if you're returning subscribers, I thank you so much for doing that. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe, ring the notification bell and share it with your friends. So what palette did I choose? I chose the new ABH Cosmos palette. And the reason I did, I just love these colors that are in here. It's got a little bit of cool. It's got a little bit of warm. It's got some pops of colors, which I love. Those are the things that I love in a palette. And I'm not saying I won't go back and get the new Natasha Denona one, but for right now, this is the one that spoke to me and I really wanted to try. So let's try to do a quick eye look for you today. First thing I'm going to do is put on some primer. This is my Ace Beauty eyeshadow primer and I love this primer it goes it is so concentrated a small amount is going to go a long way and it's going to cover both of your eyes and I like this because it puts a little bit of color so it's going to cancel out any redness that I have in my eyes which I do lightly because my allergies have been bothering me so that sort of tones down all the redness that's in my eyes. Now the one thing that this palette does not have, it does not have an underbrow color. So what I did not too long ago is when I was at the drugstore, I picked up this little L'Oreal single and it's a perfect underbrow color for me. So whenever I have a palette that doesn't have an underbrow color, I will grab this out and I can use it. Okay, I think I'm gonna start out with the color that's right over here in the corner and it's called Space Dust. Okay, let's see how this is. Not too much fallout, it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Oh, it seems to be blending very, very nicely. Got nice color payout on it. I like Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have not had problems with their palettes. I know some people, the reviews on this one, on Sephora, there weren't as many as the Natasha Denona one, but you know, everyone has a difference of opinion and it all depends on your eyes and I have very dry eyelids, so I normally don't have a problem with things blending out. I guess it's a, a plus if your eyelids are too oily. Sometimes things don't want to blend as much, but I don't have a problem. Very nice. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit smaller brush, and I think I'm going to go into the color that's right next to it called Comet. Tap it off. No, it does not have a lot of fallout at all. And I'm just gonna go in my corner here a little bit. And into the crease and blend it in. It's getting nice color and it seems to be blending very, very well. I, I did read that's one of the things that, um, and I did watch a YouTuber that she did not think that the mattes blended that well, but I'm not having a problem with this at all. And they're very buildable, so I like to start out very lightly and build. Sometimes you get palettes where they're very, very pigmented, and you just have to make sure you tap off your brush good and just go in with a light hand. Keep your fingers back on your brush farther and then you're going to get a lighter buffing. If you go in with your fingers really tight to the top, 
you're going to be pressing really hard. You want a softer, diffused look. Keep your fingers back so you get a more soft, blended look. Look at that. Oh, loving this so far. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this darker color right here called Eclipse. And it's not showing up real dark. It's showing up lighter on my camera, at least on my monitor, but it is a little bit darker. So I'm going to take a very small brush and I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to darken at the edge. I'm going to come in on an angle and just give that a little teeny bit of depth there at the edge. push it, I'm pushing it into the crease and then blending out. So I'm pushing it in and blending it towards the lash line. So that's just giving it a little teeny bit more depth right there at the corner. because so I want this to be like a natural look. Okay. And then I'm going to take, oh gosh, they've got such pretty shimmers here. Why don't we swatch some of these shimmers here and see what they look like. This one's called Mercury. Ooh, look at that. And it just went on so, so buttery. The pink one next to it is Orion. Look at that, oh my goodness. I'm excited, oh, this one really feels creamy. This one is called Sun. Okay, and I want to try the blue. They've got a really pretty blue here. Ooh. Look at that blue at the bottom. So some of them seem like they're a little bit more sheer, like a topper, and then you have your other full-on ones, like the top one that we did, the Mercury. And they have this super dark one right here with a shimmer called Galaxy. Let's see see what this comes out. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put this one long ways. Look at that. That has got a lot of color payout. That is beautiful. I'm really excited about these colors here. I have a makeup way because I'm going to get color accidentally all over my white shirt. and I don't want that. So, but I wanted to see how these looked. So I could show you and give you an idea on how well they swatch and I think they did very good. So let's pick a color. I like the pink. Ooh, let's start with Supernova. Oh, Supernova is a dual chrome. Guess what? I think we're going to do a little bit of the Supernova, which is this color right here at the top. And then I might add a little bit of the blue. Okay. Let's start with the Supernova. Oh. This is super fun. Oh my gosh. I've said it before. I don't care how old you are. <laughs> I like I like shimmers on my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of the Super Cluster Blue. I'm going to put that more on this side. Why not? They're both sort of like duochromes. So my eye is going to have a little bit of Okay, then I am going to go back with our second color, our Comet, that I did here in my crease. And I'm going to add a little bit more and just blend it. So it blends over the top of that a little bit. I want it to be more of a nice seamless transition. Okay, 
I'm gonna grab my little brush because it looks like I got a little over this. Just touch this up a little. Then what I think I'm gonna do, they have got a black in here, which I think is great. It's called Dark Matter. It doesn't come out real black there, but it's a soft black. So I did bring up a couple of eyeliner pencils that I love. And I did bring up my little matte fix. So I'm gonna spray one of these brushes. I'll spray the small one. Just a little bit, and then I'm gonna get this black. And I'm going to use this as an eyeliner today. So ladies, if you're ever wondering, you got a black shadow in a palette and you're like, what am I going to use a black shadow for? That's what you're going to use it for. I mean, if you want to go really dramatic and put black at the, at the corner of your eye, you could do that as well. But normally, if I have a black shadow in a palette, this is what I use it for. Because it gives it a soft... A soft liner look. How about that? Like that. Okay, now I am going to put some mascara on, but before we do that, to curl my lashes. I'm going to put on a mascara primer on. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. This is my favorite drugstore brand mascara primer. I never have any problems with this clumping up. Seems like it gives added volume and stay to my lashes. And then just recently, I purchased the Maybelline Falsy Surreal. And this is not the waterproof. As I've said before, I do not use waterproof mascara on my eyes. Waterproof mascara is very drying and damaging to your lashes. So I am a huge fan of tubing mascara or regular mascara if I think it's a day that I'm not going to be sweating or anything. And this, I've tried it twice so far and I've had no problems with it. It didn't seem to flake or smear. And I don't wear mascara on my lower lashes all the time, so that is one reason why I don't have to worry about it, you know, smearing underneath too much. But it gives nice length to your lashes, and it can be built up if you want a little bit more volume. But it's, it's meant to give you, like, length and separation like false lashes. That's one coat. Okay, let's go back and do another quick, just a little bit more in each one of them. I am definitely liking this mascara. Still doesn't beat my favorite L'Oreal tubing mascara or the Milani Tubing Mascara, those are my two favorites that I wear a lot. Okay, 
these are the eyes, except for this little guy is separated. There they are. Okay, this is the eye look, minus the little flex, which I'm going to go downstairs. I love my little spoolie downstairs. I'm going to go downstairs. Actually, I did not. I brought it up with me. Thought I had left it. My little trick. This little spoolie thing. As soon as your mascara dries, if you touch it on your brow bone, take a little spoolie and it just flicks it away. Okay. What do you think? I love it. I love these colors, the colors in this palette. And we used all of these. We use this and we use this and we use this as our eyeliner. So we, we've used one, two, three, four, five, six colors. I don't know about this one. It looks a little bit, maybe too orange for me, but we'll see. You never know. We'll give it a try. But I'm going to run downstairs and finish the rest of my face and my hair and I will be right back up and we will finish the video. Okay, I'm back. Fixed my hair, put the rest of my makeup on, put a little pinky peach blush on to go with the color in the eyeshadow. I really like this look. I love the way that this palette performed. I would recommend this palette. I know, like I said, on Sephora there were positive and negative reviews, but I think there's going to be on any anything that you buy. Everyone has different eyes. They have different eye shapes, different eye textures. They have different preferences and things that they like. So if these are colors that you would like to try out, I just think they're just beautiful colors. And this will go into fall too. That's the thing I like about this because these colors are a little bit more muted. They look more fall coloring to me. And even like this one, if you, this is a color you like, it's got different things. And it's got the gold and then this little one here, which I didn't try. Look at this. This is a beautiful duochrome color. Let's see. got shifts of gold in it, but then it has sort of like a green. I just, I, I just love all the colors that are in here. And I am excited to keep trying this palette. I would highly recommend it. As I said, you know, there are new palettes coming out all the time and I may end up trying the Natasha Denona one. I will tell you, I am going to have an upcoming video on a brand that I am getting, I just placed my first order with them that I am so excited about. Mandy Lee recommended, she always talks about this brand and I'm going to keep it a secret because it's going to be in an upcoming video, but they just had a big Christmas in July sale. So I think I ordered four palettes from them because I have heard so many wonderful things about them. And you know what? You got to do what you like in the colors. Everyone has different preferences on colors. Some people like shimmers on their eyes. Some people don't. So some people would prefer getting a palette that has mostly all mattes to it. I like to put a little bit of shimmer on my eyes. I think it makes them pop. You know what? As you get older, it's like things aren't to me. Sometimes, you know, you got to do something to make you feel happy and to make your, your look pop a little bit. So I'm happy with this look. I'm excited about it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope that while you are here, you will consider joining my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Share this channel with your friend. I really appreciate it. Um, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate those of you who have stuck with me while I'm making my videos and while I'm getting started because this is a passion of mine that I will always love doing. So thank you so much for joining me today. Go out, have yourself a wonderful, blessed day, and I'll see you again in the next video.